the fact that I actually did it, I actually cut all of my hair off. Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be bringing you along to get my hair cut. Um, it's been very long awaited. I haven't gotten my hair cut since December and it's time. It's really long and it's summer and I want it short so I'm going to show you guys in the mirror how long it is. My hair grows really fast so I last time I cut it I think I cut it like shoulder length about. Um, so I'm going to cut it shorter than that, I think. I don't know. It's going to be a surprise because I, I don't even know how short I want it, to be honest. So I just know that it hasn't been that short in like 10 years and I'm ready for it. So I guess I will see you guys when we're on the way. So I'm at the hairdresser. My mom is in getting her hair done and I'm just waiting. I'm going to watch a show. I might watch a week. I'm not really sure. Um, then I'm going in. On Instagram, people were saying that I should cut my hair pretty short. I don't know. I guess you guys will see. But I'm really excited. I need my hair short for Hot Girl Summer. It's just, it's really long. I'm pretty sick of it. I've had long hair for most of my life. And I mean, my hair just grows back so fast. So every time I cut it short, it's long again in like six months. And I don't want that. So we're going shorter this time. I hope it looks good yeah I will I will see you guys after I guess so I'm done on my hair appointment and we just ran a few errands but it is time for me to show you guys how it looks I'm of course gonna take some pictures later and like brush it out and show you how I can style it but here it is it's so short um my hairdresser just kind of kept cutting which I don't I don't know how I feel about that but I think I think it looks good I mean, it's definitely something different. I've never really had hair this short, except for a long time ago, like I said, but let me know what you think. Um, I can't wait to try to style it because this is going to be rough trying to get into a ponytail. I might be doing lots of, like, French braids or just, like, pigtails even. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm really happy that my hair's short now because I was getting really sick of long hair, especially in the hot weather. It's been, like, in the 90s, so... Also, I forgot to say, I actually ended up donating my hair. That's why I ended up so short. Uh, we were just thinking about, like, huh, your hair is really long. Maybe, it depends on how short you want it, but maybe you could donate it. So she just measured, and she's like, yeah, you can donate it. So I cut it off. This is, like, the maybe fifth time I've donated my hair, fifth or maybe even sixth. I've done it so many times, but... Hi, so here's a little intermission. It's voiceover Rosie coming in to tell you guys about my hair donations. So I did my first donation in 2008. I was three years old. I donated 12 inches of hair for wigs for kids. Then in 2010, I donated 10 inches of hair. I was five years old. I donated to Locks of Love. Then in 2011, I donated 10 inches of hair. I was six years old and I donated to Pantene. Then in 2019, I donated 12 inches. I was 14 years old. And now, number five, um, I'm donating to children with hair loss. I'm 16 years old and it's just eight inches this time. Um, I've been having shorter hair recently, so I definitely didn't want to cut off 12 inches or 10 inches, but yeah, there's my hair donation history and some rare pictures of little Rosie. Yeah, I'm happy that I got to get short hair and somebody's going to benefit from it. Okay, so I'm home and this is how it looks. Um, I don't know how I'm supposed to pull it back, to be honest, but I'm like brushing it out. And it is getting a little less poofy, which I appreciate, but I've never actually had volume in my hair because it always just has been too heavy and too thick. So I'm really getting like Beth Harmon vibes from this when she has her short hair. Also like kind of Dora, hopefully not too much Dora, and a lot of Sylvie from Loki. And... I'm just going to try to figure out how to style this. I don't know how hair like this works. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to, ooh, it's going to be like high pony and low pony. <laughs> well, 
It's gonna be interesting. Maybe I'll do like pullbacks or something, or I could do like the ray buns, like the three buns. <laughs> so I'm not really sure. Maybe I'm just, it's just gonna be a hot girl hair down summer. Um, maybe I can try this. I don't think I can twist my hair if I can't even pull it all back. Yeah. So it's definitely going to be something I have to figure out. I know people, some people do like this and they pull two pieces back, but that's with smaller clips. So I don't really know what to do with this hair, but I could definitely do pigtails. Then I would feel like young Anna from Frozen. <laughs> I don't know, so I guess I'll let you know if I figure out something that I can do with this hair. The fact that I actually did it, I actually cut all of my hair off. I kind of like it. I don't really know what to think, so let me know what you guys think. I think it will end up working out. It's just a little poofy right now, as it always is after I wash it. So it's going to take some getting used to. Like I still don't know what to do with it, but yeah. I'm gonna end this video because I'm sure you guys have already formed your opinions on how my hair looks. I have definitely not formed an opinion. I mean, I think it'll be fine. It's definitely very different. It's a change, but change is good. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me do this and donate my hair. So make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at GodOfDoorsBook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!